as you move up from those parks, those grasslands down below, on hot, dry slopes that are open to the sun, you find a really unique type of forest, one that is really characteristic of the West. And you really think about this as your sort of classic Western scene where you have scattered ponderosa pine. This is a ponderosa pine woodland, one of the most amazing habitats that you'll find in the West. It's incredible. Wildlife is everywhere here. All those major large species that migrate up in elevation, like the bighorn sheep, the elk, they're all here too at different times of the year. And in this habitat is one of the best places to bird watch in this part of the country. Uh, we see violet green swallows. Violet green swallow because of that beautiful coloration of this bird. Bright white, almost clown-like face with a brilliant iridescent green cap, green back, and then the lower parts of the wings and the lower part of the tail is this iridescent shining violet when it catches the light. It's probably the most beautiful swallow in North America, maybe the world. And a bird you won't miss is the black-billed magpie. Relative of jays, much larger species though, and extremely raucous, makes a lot of noise. Even mountain bluebirds, the bluebird that I feel is the most beautiful of all bluebirds here in North America. And we've been watching a pair trading off, feeding young at the nest right here. They're cavity nesters, just like all of our bluebirds here in North America. And of course the bird you can't miss, the one that's singing all around us and actually been singing from the very same tree as the mountain bluebirds, which is the western tanager, an incredibly beautiful two-tone bird. This bird with this bright orange head, yellow body, but related to the scarlet tanager and the summer tanager we have back home. But also chipmunks, squirrels, all kinds of wildlife in this habitat. And one of the chipmunks that we've seen here, possibly the least chipmunk, but they're really hard to tell apart. It's not as easy as in the east where you only have one chipmunk species here. We have at least three species that occur in this zone of these mountains. So they're hard to tell apart, but I think the little guys we've been watching here are least chipmunks. Another cute little squirrel that you might mistake for a small prairie dog is the Wyoming ground squirrel. They make their burrows in these beautiful, large grassy areas between the pines. This open structure of this forest, widely scattered trees, is primarily because this is an area that's exposed to fire. And unlike some of the forests higher above us here, these fires that burn through the Ponderosa pine forest, they'll kill small trees, but they burn right under the large trees. Beautiful birds, beautiful animals, and you can't miss the plants. An incredible show of wildflowers if you're here in late spring, early summer here in the Rocky Mountains. The Ponderosa Pine Woodland just doesn't get the respect it deserves. Next time you're here, take some time to explore this habitat.